Hey everybody, welcome back to my Astromech channel. It might look like I've gone backwards a little bit here. I've got T3X all torn down again so that I can start prepping what I've got for the final paint. So in the last video, I talked about assembling the 3D printed dome and at the very end of it, you may have seen it spinning on the body. And this is gonna be a pretty quick video, just touching on a few things that I glossed over in the last one, including this plate that I have attached to the top of the rockler and the, uh, the motor and mount for the dome rotation. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna start with this dome plate. It isn't structural at all. The dome could sit directly on the bearing. It would hold its form just fine. But I'm gonna be adding some electronics to the dome, including one, maybe two uh, microcontrollers. And I'm gonna to have to run some wires from the dome down into the body. These wires are gonna go through a slip ring, which needs to be mounted dead center. And that'll allow the dome to rotate freely. The plate was modeled again in Fusion to sit on top of the rockler, with holes centered on the existing mounting holes. This was then exported to my CNC router to be cut from 3mm aluminum plate. I tapped these holes for number 10 screws which fasten the plate directly to the bearing. And you can see that I left three of the six mounting screws long and they pass through the plate and the dome has corresponding holes which just slip right down over these studs and that's all that holds the dome in place for now. The next piece of this puzzle was the motor and the mount for the uh, dome rotation. Once more I modeled it in Fusion. It consists of a mounting bracket which attaches to the main frame and a motor mount which clamps the motor firmly. This whole unit uses spring tension to make a friction drive pushing against the inside of the bearing. So I chose to use this motor which is a 12 volt motor from Globe Motors with a gearbox attached to it which gives me a final output of about 120 RPM at full speed I believe. Then I made this drive wheel which has grooves for two rubber rings and a captured nut to hold it onto the motor shaft. I have a spring over a length of ready rod and a nut and washer to provide some adjustment. I use a quarter inch bolt for the pivot and there's just enough spring tension to keep the rubber pressed up against the bearing. One other small addition that I added to this thing was this strip of emery fabric that I added to the inside of the rockler. It's 200 grit and I attached it with contact cement. I don't know that it's necessary, but I thought that it'd be a nightmare to add it if I decided I needed to later. So that's the basics of the dome rotation. I think I kept this video down to about three minutes or so. Hopefully that's a nice little update for you guys. As always, I wanna thank everybody that's taken the time to subscribe to the channel or like a video. I really do appreciate it. Um, and until next time, just remember, there is no try.